Let me first sketch out the overall shape. The GSW comprises 30 kilometers of our southern coastline, from Gardens by the Bay East all the way to Pase Panjang. And it's about 2,000 hectares of land. It's six times the size of Marina Bay, or in other terms, about two pongos. The GSW includes the PSA city terminals, which are at Tanjong Paga, at Brani, and at Keppel. And they also include the Pase Panjang terminals. By 2027, the city terminals will go to Tuas, where we are building a new port. And later on, in 2040, the Pase Panjang terminal will also go to Tuas port. And this will free up prime land for redevelopment. It will be an opportunity to reshape the greater southern waterfront into a new place to live, work, and play. And let me start with live. Here is Keppel Golf Course, Keppel Club. It's close to two MRT stations, you can see them, and also to Labrador Park down here, the nature park, nature reserve. The lease is expiring in two years' time, so this will be one of the first Greater Southern Waterfront developments. And there's enough land here to build 9,000 housing units. Not quite so fast, but 9,000 housing units. <laughs> HDB and private housing with waterfront promenades, with greenery and open spaces. And that's just a start because there's space and land for public and private housing elsewhere in the Greater Southern Waterfront too. And with the GSW, the size of two pongos, you get a sense of the possibilities. Think of it as pongol by the bay. <laughs> Next, I go to work, the commercial areas. Several big companies already have offices in Labrador, in near Labrador Park, like Google or Cisco or Unilever. And we will develop more office space in the GSW, like this one, which is Maple Tree Business Park, which will bring in more jobs. People can work near where they live and live near where they work, and this will create life and activity during the day and at night. I take it this is at night. <laughs> Finally, I come to play. Actually, I got there already. The fun part. There are many possibilities for fun and recreation. We will start by redeveloping two old power stations in Pasi Panjang. These are the Pasi Panjang power stations. They used to supply electricity back in the 1960s, but they were decommissioned long ago. And we can find creative new uses for them, just like the way we made St. James Power Station near Vivo City into a nightlife destination. Next, after Brani Terminal moves out, we can develop Pulau Brani together with Sentosa. We will build new attractions on Brani, just like we have Universal Studios on Sentosa, which is this block here. And we will also revitalize Sentosa's beach areas and expand its nature and heritage trails to keep its island character. We will also link up the GSW with all the surrounding green areas so that you have a whole connection from West Coast Park to East Coast Park and also from rail corridor all the way down to Sentosa. And with a new green heart at the center, Singapore will be even more of a city in a garden. I have already received one special request. When we discuss these plans in cabinet, Nti Meng put his hand up. He said, NTUC is very grateful to the government for downtown east. How about a downtown south. <laughs> so, so I said, OK, we will do that. We will set aside land for the labor movement to build a resort, probably on Pulau Brani. We will make this gesture.
We will make this gesture to thank our workers for all their contributions to the nation because Singapore is for all of us.